Hello! Oh, we're doing it. This might be the last one before I go away. Might be. Oh no. I'm gonna be overseas again for a bit. That'll be fun. Far off in distant lands. In Tokyo. At undisclosed dates, undisclosed times. Oh my god. So many things happening on screen right now is insane. <laughs> I mean, I guess there the club, is stuff happening I on guess the screen. I the club scene just happened. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm okay. I'm <laughs> okay with this just movie. going past this. Yeah, anyway, you're, there. you're going to, you're going to somewhere, you're going overseas, yep, somewhere fun. At undisclosed times for uh, undisclosed fun. lengths. You, then you're leaving me here, I right hear. That's right, you're gonna have to do all of the work. That's alright, I'll do it. I'll record like 20 episodes of my own, it'll be great. I, I need to finish editing the anime videos before we go away. Mm. And, uh, <laughs> whew. Mm. Oh boy. What? There's What's, a lot to do. I know. There's a lot of episodes mm -hmm. that need to be just done. Rubbish. Because unlike last time I went away, I can't take the files with me because the files for the anime is literally every video we've put out thus far in Higurashi. Right. Because I use them to like yeah, sub you, like, in. Yeah, edit everything together. Yes, yeah, yeah. so that needs to be done before you go. God. <laughs> this is awful. Why have we done this to ourselves? Well, because uh, we can. Yeah, it's fun. It was a very humid day. It today. was a very humid day. Not even a slight breeze was blowing. It had been. Not even a slight breeze was blowing. It had been an unpleasant summer. The country was one, on fire. One that wasn't only hot, but certainly so. I will also say, I think it's sort of like a, it was like one of those side things, but it was up and down. It was like Renner's whole body. We haven't yes. had one of those before. I don't think. No, we haven't. I'm excited. I'm excited for that. I want to see if we actually do something weird and unique to the genre of when they cry. There were various articles of clothing hung out to dry in the messy apartment windows, but the lack of wind evoked an impression far removed from coolness. In fact, it only felt more oppressive. There were crooked houses and apartments lying the narrow, twisting road. In addition, there were planters and flower pots whose contents were beginning to rot, as well as bicycles and cars on the sides of the road, making it even more cramped, more oppressive, and all the more sweltering. Nobody who was in this place at this time was visiting it voluntarily, but in spite of what everyone might expect, a single motorcycle came rolling in. The motorcycle stopped in front of a two-story apartment, one that could hardly be called neat even as flattery. A man, fairly old and wrinkled, stepped off. When a nearby housewife hanging out the laundry noticed him, she called out, Well, hello there! That's, you put the emphasis on the, on the O, you need to, it's just one O. It's quite hot today again, <laughs> isn't it? Oh, you've got that right. I feel like I'm gonna boil out here. <laughs> Says Tepe, who has now come to town because his side piece has disappeared. That's what that, that's what that scene was for. Is it? Yeah, that's the like event in the timeline that leads to Tepe, like coming uh, coming in Amizawa. If his side piece disappears, and he's like, well, I got nothing to do out here. I'm sure we've covered this before. If we haven't, then just slander me in the comments, but I'm sure we've talked about this in the story before. That's like what he's doing. Because you're in right. Arc, you're absolutely in right. The six, reason I was off confused with her, is like, because I had it in my head already that he was just in town. No, no. He lives out somewhere else. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. When, uh... Yeah, when, when he's with his side piece and he's off trying to scam Renner's dad, but as soon as she's off by the son of Zaki's because of her, like, cheating them or whatever, he's like, well, I guess I better go back to Sadako-chan and she can look after me and, right, because in the ways that I need. Right, because this is Tariko answer arc! Maybe. Maybe so. It all makes sense now. There you are. I'm glad they're all on the same page. Suddenly, I got goosebumps all over my body. I felt like something bad was about to happen for no reason. Everyone gets this feeling in a different way. Some people might get a twitch in their eyelids, or some kind of movement in their ears. In my case, I get goosebumps. Satoko was supposed to be cooking dinner tonight. We didn't have much inside the refrigerator, so I asked her to go grocery shopping. I was just watching TV and relaxing while I waited for her. She was usually back by the time my cartoon was over, after which she'd start cooking dinner. Why would she, like, watch... Cartoons, like, wouldn't it be the same episode every time? Like, I feel like you'd watch all the cartoons that are gonna be made for like reliving the same period of time over and over again. Like, you, you couldn't affect like what cartoons are being made, you know? 
Yeah, but like, I you know, you, you can go out and buy a different DVD of old reruns every lifetime or something. I, I guess so. This implies it's just like on the TV. Yeah. As long as she's enjoying herself. But my cartoon was over, the news had started, and Satiko wasn't home yet. Satiko sometimes waited until they had a sale at the store. In that case, she'd usually come home late. And that must be what was happening. It was too early for me to start worrying about her. But, but, I can't explain this feeling. I can't explain it, but I feel extremely worried. Once I start feeling like that, I couldn't just sit in the room and wait for her. Han Yu, Han Yu, where are you? I thought you might know where Sadako might be, but she's never around when I need her. Funny that. Han Yu is not with me 24 hours a day. She sometimes falls asleep and sometimes she goes out for walks. Though in her case, it's not a walk, but more like a stalk. Uh, she follows people around when she finds someone interesting, and she enjoys observing them. Anyway, I, I had no choice. I'd have to find Sadako on my own. I had a good idea of which stores Sadako goes to. I should check those first. We're in Hinamizawa. If I asked people, they'd tell me where she went. Got me to you want to do an Hello! No! Do the old person voice! Okay. Do my like, oh, hello there! Do that voice. Sorry, I'm just really running out of voices. Just do my voice! Do like, oh, hello sorry, there, sorry. Rika Chama! Hello there, Rika Chama! It's a blessing to see you here. Nipa, star. Um, did Sanako come here today by any chance? I haven't seen Satako chan here in 60 years. I've I have been <laughs> out here all day. So, I would have seen her if she was here. Thank you, old man. I didn't even have time to say thanks. <laughs> I ran to the next door. Wow, ungrateful. People were greeting me and waving at me. I'd usually smile and greet them back, but I had no time for that at the moment. Sadako, Sadako, Sadako. I need Sadako in my life. I was able to survive for so long because of her support. Uh, without her, this world would be so empty and, and boring. Sadako is no... Sadako is so nonchalant and optimistic, unlike me. I've learned so many things from her over the past 100 years, but I still need to learn more from her. Sadako! Sadako! People stared at me as I ran by them, screaming out her name. I didn't care what they thought, though. Sadako! 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 Why are they looking at me like that? I'm looking for Sadako. Somebody tell me where she is! Ugh. <sighs> My heart was convulsing inside my body, like a fish out of the water. What little stamina I have, I hate my body for being so young. You know, the store in the corner always has a sale in the evening. She might be there. I went to a few different places, but I still couldn't find her anywhere. The people I talked to gave me advice on where to go, but I couldn't find her in any of the places they suggested. I continued to run, looking for her. I continued to run, even when I bumped into people. I don't know, I had... So many customers, I can't remember. That's good. That's a good voice. I like Thank it. you. Thank you. There are only a few places in Hamizawa where we can go grocery shopping. It shouldn't be that difficult to find her, so why couldn't I? Ah! I tripped on something in the street and fell flat on the ground. It was a note. It said, Come find Sadako at this address. I mean, ouch. I injured my hand on a small rock embedded in the ground. I didn't feel much pain, even though I said, ouch. Just felt hot as if I touched a frying pan. Suddenly, someone handed me a pretty handkerchief. Uh, are you okay? Did you get hurt? R R Renna, did you see Sadako anywhere? Renna was carrying a grocery bag. I've heard that Sadako bumps into Renna often when she goes grocery shopping. They tend to choose the same stores. Sadako Chan? No, I, I didn't see her today. Was she out grocery shopping? Yes, you didn't see her? No, I, I didn't, but there's no way she would have missed the big sale at the market today. I was there, but I didn't see her. My brain wasn't getting enough oxygen. It took me a while to understand what Renna was talking about. I understood that Renna didn't see Satiko, but that wasn't the point. They had a huge sale on the market today. There's no way that Satiko would miss that sale, but she still didn't see her there. What was that supposed to mean? What happened? Did she leave her wallet at home or something? Well, um, I couldn't find the right words to explain. Should I tell her I feared that something bad happened to Sadako and that's why I was looking for her? No, I, I couldn't do that. 
I couldn't think too deeply about why she hadn't returned home. I... What's wrong? Can I help out? Talk to me. Please. I knew she was just trying to help me. I even thought I needed someone to help me just a few moments before. But now that she was here, I had no idea what I was supposed to say. No, that's not it. I... The truth is, I know. Somehow I know. I wouldn't have to know if I was someone else. But I have to know this. Rika Fruday has to know what's going on. I know it. I remember it. I knew this was coming. I've experienced a world before where Satigo suddenly disappeared, but the possibility for that happening is as low as Akasaka showing up in Hinamazawa. It only happened randomly in my other lives. This is not the first time. It happened before, too. I should see it for myself. I needed to see if I'd gotten stuck inside a devastating world again. Will you talk to me? I'm sorry. Goodbye. Uh, hey, Rika-chan! I started running. I couldn't pretend like I didn't know where she was. Or that girl. Please don't tell me that I was blessed only up to this point. I'm about to fall back into my own unfortunate fate from here on. I thought this world was different. I thought I could move on to a happy future. I thought I would be able to defeat my deadly fate in this life. But this was just horrible. It was horrible this was happening to this world. I was standing in front of the place that I hate the most, in Inamizawa. Yes, it's Sadako's real home, the Hojo residence. I had been living with her since last fall, so this house was empty. In the beginning, she used to come back here to pick up her clothing and other necessities, but once she moved most of her stuff to my house, Sadako stayed away from this place. This was a sad place for Sadako, because all she could remember of it was the horrible time she spent with her uncle and aunt, and the memory of her missing brother, Sadashi. That's why she never wanted to come back here. But that wasn't the reason I hate the house. It's because I know what happens whenever this house becomes an issue in my life. Oh God, please, please bless me with just one more fortune. I closed my eyes and prayed, then I slowly opened them. The window was open on the second floor. I saw a faded curtain swinging inside. As soon as I saw that, my knees realized what was going on even before my mind processed it. In the next moment, I lost strength in my legs and collapsed on the ground. I saw an unfamiliar motorcycle parked by the house. I also saw laundry and a futon hanging outside. I was certain that someone was living here. It was proof that someone was living inside of this house. It's never good when there's someone living inside this house. This was very, very bad. I knew exactly why. I knew why, but I felt like I wanted to act like I didn't know. Rika! Sadako! Sadako went outside to take the futon in and noticed me. Um, uh, Rika? Sadako looked down and forced herself to smile like I felt so sad. It wasn't just her expression. I could tell that her left cheek was red and swollen. Sadako, don't stay here. Let's go home. I took her hand, but she still looked down without squeezing back. Um, Rika, I think I'm going to go back to this house. Why is that? My uncle came back and he told me we should live together in this house. I know that's not what you want. You don't want to live with your mean uncle. I have no choice. If I go back to your house, he'll come and get me. I don't want to cause any trouble for you. She gave up with a sad smile. She looks exactly how she looked one year ago in 1982. Her uncle only slapped her face and she's back to being the Sadako from 1982. The cheerful Sadako that I knew until yesterday could no longer be found. I took care of Sadako and tried to heal her wounded heart for over a year. She finally got her smile back, but her uncle took it all away, just one slap to the face. A broken soul can recover over time. But her damaged heart can never be fixed completely. I just took the broken pieces and put them back together. The cracks in her heart will always be there. That's why she wouldn't come with me, no matter how hard I tried to pull her hand. She couldn't get over the fear. She knew just how scary her uncle could be. Sadako! Oh. Uh. Sadako, what the hell are you doing? You better not go anywhere! I heard a disgusting voice from inside the house. 
Sadako stared at the ground. Her shoulders were shaking. Huh? Who the hell is this? He came out and stood right behind her. It's nothing. I just bumped into my friend. I don't care. Go inside and clean the bathtub. I want to take a bath, you idiots. Sadako scampered back inside the house like a terrified small animal. I feel... Devastated as I watch her go. Why are you asking her out to play? I'm sorry, but <laughs> she's busy taking care of chores. I am her uncle. I've been out for a while on a business trip. I'm finally back in the village, you know. Liar. He only showed back up because his lover went missing. In another world, I once let my hatred out on him, but then he inflicted that anger and equal on... But then he inflicted that anger and equal turn onto Sadako. So... I couldn't allow the dark flame burning within my chest to reflect in my eyes. Since I couldn't make myself smile and I couldn't insult him, all I could do was give him a short bow and run away from the scene. You're intimidated by my scary face, huh? <laughs> I heard his hideous laughter from behind me. I cried as I ran away. I couldn't stop crying. I thought this was a perfect world up until today. Why was God doing this to me? It was too cruel. But I couldn't give up yet. I couldn't do anything, but I still had hope for this world. I didn't think the luck I had until yesterday was just a random thing. I went back to my house in hurry. I needed to make a phone call. I didn't know the number because it was my first time calling the place. I looked inside the phone book and found it easily. I made a call to that number. Play. That number, Ben. Uh huh. Um, who's this gonna be? I don't know. I. It could be anyone. I mean, she could be calling Takano. Should we call them up? Well, I feel like Takano. Takano are like would, wouldn't use Furude security then. people. I guess not. Like, there's not a lot of people she could be calling, but we know it's in a public phone book. So it's not a friend. I guess it could be like it could be the police. I don't know why you need a phone book to call the police, though. Well, because you'd be calling the emergency number if you weren't calling the line directly. You're right, because she's not calling, like, the emergency number, like, I need an ambulance. She's just like, yo, police. All right. Oishi, then? I guess I'll go with Oishi. We'll okay. see how we go. Oh, hello. Didn't expect to get a call from you for this, son. What can I do for you? Oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> ah! Yo. Uh, fucking police boys. I guess we'll take a point for that. Take a point for that. Yeah, I'll take a point. How is person know who it is? Well, fucking Oishi. We did make our guess based on evidence, so I know, but like we there got was... there. There was some precedent. We got there. Okay. I already knew that Oishi could never save Sadako, based on what I've seen in my previous lives. For him, Sadako is only a good way to get at the Sonazaki family. Her uncle is probably his prey in that regard too. Even if I told him about her situation, he would do nothing to save her. The only thing he'd tell me would be to call the child consultation center. I want to talk with Akasaka. Is he there? Akasaka-san! He went to the hot springs in Wakura with his wife. Wakura? That's not anywhere near here. I thought he was staying here until Watanagashi. I heard he's going to stay in a hotel owned by a relative of his. I wish I could go too. What? You want to know where Wakura is? It's in the Ishikawa Prefecture on the Noto Peninsula. That's a sudden and abrupt change of plan. Yeah. No way. He told me that he was staying here until Watanagashi. I thought he meant he was staying in Amizawa, but did he actually mean this area of the country in, in general? Can you get hold of him somehow? That was a meaningless question. There's no way I could get him to come here while he's enjoying his trip with his wife. Even if I can get him to talk on the phone, he'll... Probably only tell me to call the child consultation center or something. No, uh, I don't know where he's staying. I heard it's a very famous luxury hotel, so I can make a pretty good guess. <laughs> but I'm sure they want to give it a room number since they're strict about customer privacy these days. Okay then. Did Akasaka tell you that he's coming to the Watanagashi Festival? 
Yes, yes, he did. He's coming back here after the hot spring. So he stayed here for only one night and then left for the Noto Peninsula. I am sure they'll be back before the day of festival. <laughs> he said he'd be back with his souvenir for you. His toy gun. His terrible joke. How terrible. I thought it was too good to be true. I knew it was kind of strange for him to stay in a boring place like this. My luck seemed to be turning. This might not be a surprise, though. Just like I can roll a six three times in a row, I can roll a one three times in a row as well. Happy things and unhappy things can happen with equal probability. Man, remember that time we were talking about fate and not luck? Good times, good times. Yeah, fate and luck. Hello! I mean, if you want to leave a message, I can take it for you. I looked at the calendar on the wall. I didn't know when he was coming back, but I was certain he wouldn't be for at least one more week. I thought back to the past to try and remember what happened. That guy will break Sadako apart in one week. I couldn't wait that long. I had to give up on seeking help from Akasaka. Well, that's okay. I still had one more option. One more person I could rely on. N no, that's that's alright. Thank you for your help. He passed. Oh, I'm super innocent. Don't worry about it. I hung up the phone rather rudely after thanking him. You know, I actually hate that when people hang up the phone without saying goodbye. Because well, like we should. You know what I hate more though when people say goodbye like six times in a row. That's also awful. Both are equally awful. Sometimes you got to hit that off button. I couldn't make a phone call to the next person. I had to talk to him in person. I put my shoes on and headed to the Erie Clinic. Well, there you go. We're heading to the clinic anyway. The clinic's hours were over for the day. There was usually no one here after that. However, since Tomotaki Flash was here, they should still be inside the building for a meeting. They had to be there. The front door of the clinic was locked, as I expected. So this is this supposed to be like after that meeting that we saw earlier? Is this like no, the same day? No, they said they were doing or? the budget meeting the following day. Oh, uh, okay. It's a different, different meeting. I went around to the back door and rang the bell. The whole clinic is nervous when Tomotaki Flash is around. They usually ignore visitors, but I'm special. Special person. That's wrong. I heard you had an emergency. You need me too. That doesn't sound good. Iri and Takano showed up soon after I was taken to the visitor's room. If Riku Furude has an emergency, then it's a priority for these two people. I'm the most important person in this village. Wow, Rika, so self-important, my goodness. Could it be? Someone is trying to get you. You are protected at all times by the elite security of the mountain dogs. They've been watching you since the day we made that promise. <laughs> I had no doubt about that. They saved me right away when we had that confrontation with those three delinquents the other day. That's not it. I have a favor to ask. I want you to save Sadako from danger. What happened to Sadako-chan? Iria doesn't have that much power alone, even if he really wants to save her. But Takano controls the mountain dogs, so she does have that power. For some reason? Who knows why? In my previous lives, I was never able to get help from the mountain dogs because I wasn't on good terms with Takano. But this world is different. I have a better relationship with her in this life, and she even kept the promise we made. I trust her ability completely now. Hippie, hold your son is back. That's horrible. It was mainly Sadako's aunt who was abusing her last year, but Iri knows that her uncle was violent with her too. I told them that Sadako had gone back to the same condition she was in the previous year. I don't know what will happen. I need you to help me save Sadako. Iri seemed to want to do something for her, but he didn't know exactly what to do. What shall we do? Shall we call the police and let them know? I don't know about that. At this point, all he did was come back and take her in as a legal guardian, right? It's not like she's been seriously injured by him. That's not the case, right? No, that hasn't happened yet, but it's only a matter of time. Something bad is going to happen if we don't do anything. I hate to say that it's only a matter of time. I knew how she was going to get abused and... How she was going to end up, I've seen it in the past. I really wanted to tell them about it, but I couldn't do that. As it hasn't happened in this world yet, they just think I was imagining it. I think you should call the Child Consultation Center first. Fuck off! No! 
I remember. Satoko chan made a false report to the Child Consultation Center once. I wonder if they would take her seriously. The answer is no. My friends contacted the Child Consultation Center several times in the past, but Satoko always refuses their help. She claims that she isn't being abused. The Satoko from 1983 might have asked for their help, but currently she was the Satoko from 1982. For her, living with her uncle reminds her of the time when Satoshi was around. She feels like Satoshi will come back if she can live strongly, without always relying on her brother. Even if the Child Consultation Center were to take the case seriously, it's just too late. I try to remember. In the most recent world I experienced, it only took a few days after Satoko was kidnapped by her uncle. It only took a few days for him to tear her heart apart. We had no time to waste. We needed to take action, and quickly. We can't really do anything until she seeks help. I think Dr. Irie can call the police, but that's about it. I'm very sorry. That's not it. I want you to help her, Takano. Irie and Takano looked shocked and both went quiet. They didn't expect me to seek help from Takano. You mean, you want us to take a much bolder action? I'm here to ask for that. I wouldn't be here this late otherwise. I understand, but... Yurie, if you truly cherish Sadako, then please, just listen to me this once. Please, save Sadako. In less than a few days, she really end up in horrible shape. That's already guaranteed. If you try to wait and see how things go, it'll be no different than watching her die. Have you forgotten how Sadako was last year, Yurie? She's already reverted to that state, right this very second. In a few more days, it'll be too late to do anything. All I could do was to stare at him. Believing that Irei could see the future, only I knew. The tragic end of Wayne Sadako reflected in my eyes. Irei remained silent for too long a time to call brief. Someone trying to think of some excuse to avoid the issue wouldn't go silent that long. He was recalling Sadako's terrible state last year and seriously considering if my plea was as urgent as I made it out to be. I know that he really cares about her. That's why I need his help. What shall we do? Irie nodded and looked up. I guess he finally came to a conclusion. I just hope it's a positive one. takuro san please, do whatever Rika-chan wants you to do. Irie! Uh, was that... Uh... I, thought, I feel like that was Takano. Was that Takano? I don't, she didn't move, but I'm... Con hmm. uh. I'm not sure. Why didn't she move?! Ah, uh, sprites. Felix! Why would confused. she- would she just say Irie, would she? Yeah, and then this is Irie who's like, I felt hopeless. Yeah, I think that was- I think anyway, that was Rika on, being on. like, Fuck yeah, Irie, you doing it! You doing it, Peter! I remember- I remember how hopeless I felt when I couldn't do anything to save Satoko chan last year. I want to take this chance and save her this time. But Doctor- Takano didn't think that Irie would make that decision. She seemed shocked to hear his response. I would like to ask you, as the director of this clinic, please help Sadako-chan. Dear A, what do you mean when you say to help her? Please calm down. Sadako-chan is very important to us. She has greatly contributed to our research for a long time. Protecting her is considered one of your work orders. Ire continued, though Takano tried to persuade him. Kurosuke Ire is asking you, as your boss, please save Sadako-chan. I stared into Takano's eyes, together with him. I thought you and Sadako were friends. Please, help her as a friend. Help her? Hmm. That's a hypocritical way of saying it. You're not telling me to kidnap her and lock her up somewhere safe. You want me to help her so she can have a normal, happy life. In other words, you want her uncle dead, right? You have the right to make the ultimate decision of how you're going to save her, but if you don't want to, I don't mind making that decision. Dr. Irie, no. Section Chief, if we carry out your order, both you and I will be responsible for it. Are you sure you're ready for that? I looked at his face. Unlike me, Irie has many things to lose. I knew that Takano's words would shake him emotionally. However, Iri was determined. Yes, 
Yeah, that's fine. Even if I'm called for to defend mine actions, that's better than betraying my own heart. An impressive show for someone who doesn't know what a hearing's like. Ominous. <laughs> if you do it quietly, they may not find out about it in Tokyo. Everyone would be happy that way. All risk and no reward. If you want, I'll show you more treasures. Oh my god! Why would you do this to me? Why you got a bait and switch, Ryukishi? Ryukishi! Take a point. Point for that! If you want, I'll show you more treasures in the shrine. I never restrict you from seeing those things, so please help me. The risk she's taking is larger than the reward I'm offering, but that's about the only thing I can offer her. I don't care about the traditions of the Fruity Shrine, as long as I can save my friend from her suffering. Fine. <laughs> I don't want to be the bad guy here. She forced a smile and accepted you, the favor. Why are you tut-tutting quietly there, Ben? Nothing. Nothing. I was just, you know... Takano is clearly lips. the good guy here. I was just getting ready to, like, lick my lips and say that okay, was lying. Okay, sure, sure. She forced a smile and accepted the favor I asked her for. Thank you, Takano-san. I want you to make the decision of how to save her. I'll have a meeting with Okanogi later to plan out the mission. Yeah! Okanogi! Not later, it has to be now! She promised to save Sataka, but she still wasn't motivated for it. It'd be too late if she didn't do something right now. I tried to make Takano understand that this is an urgent matter. That's right. Rikachan and I want to see some kind of result right now. I'm sorry for asking you this at this time, but can you please contact him now? Oh, you're so passionate about her. Okay. It might take a few minutes. Oh, thank you very much. No problem. It's an order from my boss. I'll do whatever I can. Just don't forget that promise you made, Rika-chan. I promise. I'll even serve you some rice cakes and tea when you come to the shrine. Takano smiled slightly and left the room. Once we finally heard her footsteps fade away, the tension in the room dissolved. Yurei offered me something to drink, but I refused. You must have thought everything was taken care of, but I couldn't relax until Sadako was physically returned to me. Yurie, does she have enough medication with her? Her uncle will keep her locked inside the house, so she won't be able to come here for a while. Fortunately, I gave her a stock of medicine and needles last week. She should be fine for a while. However, her mental state can't be controlled by some medication. If she gets too stressed, that can really cause some damage. That will happen within a few days. Takano hadn't come back yet. I thought it would be bad news if she came back too early, but... I started feeling nervous after she had taken so long. Iri insisted that I go home because it was getting very late. I couldn't go home and relax, however, until I heard from her that everything was taken care of. I had to wait for her to come back. I needed to deal with this tension until then. Over an hour later, Takano finally returned. I'm sorry it took so long. How did it go? She was looking for the right words. I got a very bad feeling from her reaction alone. Unfortunately, it won't go as easy as we hoped anymore. Why is that? There was a murder case in Akinemiya not too long ago. The police suspect Hepe Hojo of involvement in the crime, and they have him marked. Damn! Those cops! A murder case? What do you mean? Some woman named Mamiya laid her hands on the Sonazaki family's earnings, and was murdered to set an example. Apparently, the police have taken an interest in the relationship between the Hojos and the Sonazakis. Mm. Turns out that woman was Tepe Hojo's lover. Watanagashi is getting closer, too. The police want to prevent the fifth curse of Oyashirasama this year, so they've marked Tepe Hojo as the candidate for this year's victim and started casting their lines. Mm. What do you mean by lines? Wait. They suspect they can reel in the true culprit behind Oyashirasama's curse if they keep their eyes on Tepe Hojo. So, you mean... Rika-chan, I'm very sorry, but the Mountain Dogs can't do anything to him until the police stop spying on him. No, I saw see Mountain Dogs could perform any mission, no matter how difficult. That's only when we plan it out carefully with extensive preparation. Usually we take a long time to observe the target, and we look for the right opportunity. It can take between six months and one year for a mission like this. Remember, we are a secret organization. You must remain out of the Van Dyne 20 rules. Uh, uh, spotlight. <laughs> if our secret is revealed, everything is over. 
It's too risky for us to target someone like him until you've checked out Death of the Reader's breakdown of Van Dyne's 20 Rules of Murder Mystery Fiction. You should check out Nox's rules in too. The description. They're all down there. Check out all the rules. Probably Chandler has rules too. He does. Fun? Raymond so many has rules. rules. His oh rules God. are definitely the best rules, but that's because they're also not really rules. <laughs> they're not really rules. They're, they're kind just of a like, cop-out. Do a good story. Do a good story. Don't be bad. <laughs> Write things good. How to be good. Do not be bad. Do not be bad, writer, please. I'm making with the murders. So when is the right opportunity coming? It will be after Watanagashi at the earliest. After the festival, the police will stop watching him. That will be too late. She's saying it'd be after Watanagashi. What? 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 What did you just do that for? No reason. I don't know what you're doing. Okay. I'm scared. I don't know why you just did that. I'm just really happy you didn't figure out what it was. You just like went... Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I don't know just what you're... Okay. Just carry on. She's saying it'd be after Watanagashi. I didn't even know if that was a day after or a year after. She also said it usually takes at least six months to prepare this kind of mission. That's too long. I thought this world was different. That hope was slipping through my fingers. So, how can we save Satoko-chan? I think it's best to follow the rules. We should report this to the police or the child consultation center. We can even talk to the school. I did that so many times, but it never worked. Iri and Takano were surprised. They never expected me to raise my voice. In fact, I didn't think myself that I would react this way. But I couldn't keep my emotions in check after Takano suggested all those meaningless solutions. I've cooperated with you guys all this time. I never asked for anything. I just gave you my support. But now you can't save Satoko. With all that power you have, why are you so afraid of saving her? The police and public services are useless. You guys only take advantage of us and never actually help. Fine, I get it now. I know now that this world is nothing but a dead end. I'm not interested in you guys anymore. I don't care about this world anymore. That's right. I can never escape my fate. It's the same old fate that I keep on repeating. You just burn to death in the mountains. You just take sleeping pills and commit suicide. I'll die, just like I always do too. <laughs> I'll lose my life without knowing how I'm killed. This life is nothing but a dead end. I was born to be killed in this world. Die, everyone die. There's no meaning to this world anymore. <laughs> I can't put words to my emotions anymore. And I started to cry. I was so lucky up until yesterday. I had so much hope in my heart, but it had all been for nothing. I'd felt like everything was falling apart. I've lived for more than a hundred years. I've lived longer than a normal human lifetime. I thought I was blessed with good fortune for the first time in my life. This would never happen to me again. I thought a miracle had occurred, but everything was shattered. I cried, and I cursed this world. I needed to give up on my life as soon as possible. Sadako will be waiting for me with a smile in the next one. I wanted to go see her. But... What would happen to the Sadako in this world? What would happen if I abandoned her? I didn't know, and I didn't care. Sadako, 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 Sadako. I'm a witch. I'm a witch who has lived for a hundred years, but I still couldn't rid myself of the human emotions in my heart. One day the music will fade. One day. One day, maybe in Kokonia, when the, when the sorks cry. I yeah, didn't- I mean, it's still not fading there. You're right, you know what? <laughs> maybe when the sorks have stopped crying. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he gets it right in RGD. Maybe that's the one he gets it right in. I just haven't like, read the whole thing. I didn't get anything to eat because Seneca was supposed to be making dinner tonight. But I didn't have an appetite anyway, so I figured I would just go to bed. I still had to make lunch for the next day, though. Seneca might come to school tomorrow. I rinsed the rice, hoping that I wouldn't have to waste the lunch that I was making for the two of us. I'm just going to turn up the music. I recognize this fucking melody. I had to stop thinking like that. I already knew it was a waste to make her lunch. I already knew that Seneca wasn't coming to school ever again. I felt so miserable while rinsing the rice. The tears started dropping into it as I thought about her. Why was this happening in this world? I thought everything changed when Keiichi gave that doll to Mion. In that world, Mion pretended to be her sister for a week and got close to Keiichi. 
But that wasn't happening this time. I thought we would be having a good time until the festival. <laughs> That's odd. Wasn't that club activity two weeks before Wars and Agashi? I had realized something. The club activity was exactly the same, but it happened one week earlier than in the world I knew of. It was one week earlier than in my previous life. I get it now. I thought I was familiar with this world, but it was actually a different one where events are mixed up. That means that even though Keiji gave the doll to Mion, that didn't solve everything. I thought I was getting lucky. I was confident that everything was going to be okay. I stopped making an effort. I knew that there was a possibility that Sedeko's uncle was coming back. But I let her do... But I let her go do the grocery shopping. I wouldn't... I would have been more careful. Kept her home if I knew that he was coming back to get her. I should be careful in my next life. But there wouldn't be a next life that was so fortunate. I didn't get lucky that often. Even if I locked Sadako inside the closet, it would be over if his father messed up something or it's Keiichi lost his mind. I have to clear up everything that's not within my reach and I also have to make the best effort I can. Without that, I can't overcome the fate of 1983. In this life, I may be able to overcome my deadly fate with Takano's help, but Sadako will not be there in my future. That defeats the whole purpose. My goal is to survive this year while laughing with my best friends. I don't want to sacrifice Sadako in order to survive. I don't want to live in a world without her. I was blessed with all those fortunes, but I still couldn't defeat my destiny. I ruined everything because I stopped working so hard. I will never again have a lucky life like this. I lost my first and my only chance. Ugh. 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 I cried and scratched at the floor. I didn't know if I should curse my fate or curse myself for not putting forth enough effort. Or curse MIDI trumpets for still being the worst it's instrument. It's okay. Ba, 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 Shush ba, ba. you. That melody is beautiful. Even if this isn't the song, it's fine. We're getting there. It's got to be excited. Fuck! If we get that song in this arc, I'm going to fucking die. I'm going to cry a lot. Good. It's gonna be so going to be sad. We'll get there sooner if you do. Ah! Before I realized it, Hanyu was standing in front of me. I didn't know how long she had been there. She just stared down at me with a look of pity on her face. Hanyu... I know what you're trying to say. You want to tell me that you told me not to get my hopes up. There's no way I wouldn't get my hopes up. With it being the first time I was blessed with so many fortunate circumstances, I believed that everything would go well. But you were always telling me not to expect too much. She probably felt something strange at the toy store that day. She realized that the day was one week off and this was not the same old world that I knew. She'd realized early on that I still shouldn't be too excited about this life. I've been with you for a long time, so let me tell you this before you ask me. I couldn't predict what fate held for us today either. The only advice I can give you is this. Fate in this world is as fickle as the weather, nothing more than a trifle unworthy of joy or sorrow. There are six sides on a die. That's the reality of it. And it doesn't mean that the six is the best number, either. I should just take any number that I roll. I shouldn't be disappointed if I roll a one a few times in a row. It's pathetic how I thought rolling a six was the best result you could obtain. <laughs> I still have many things to learn, even though I've been living for more than a hundred years. I told you several times, but this world is not a miracle. If you wait patiently, you'll come across a real miracle someday. How many decades am I supposed to wait patiently? How many centuries do I have to wait? We don't have much power left anymore. I don't think we can go back to a time before June of 1983. The amount of time we can rewind keeps decreasing. You're telling me to just repeat that short amount of time for years. I almost lost my mind when I was repeating a few years over and over again, but you're telling me to repeat one or two weeks for years until the miracle happens. That's impossible. <laughs> I was betting on this world. I bet all of my coins on this one world, and I lost. I lost all of my coins to this fate. I have no more coins left in my heart. These coins are known as... Hope. I have no coins left to hope for my dreams to come true. Oh, well. Ika. I lay on the floor as if I collapsed. The floor should have been cold, but I didn't feel anything. I lost all of my hope. <laughs> uh, I always thought people could survive as long as they had some bread and water, but that's not right. 
People can't live without hope. People can survive because they believe that something good will happen to them eventually, as long as they keep on living. But that's just for normal people, who don't know what awaits them in their future. There is no such hope for a witch like me. I don't care about anything anymore. I don't care about this life and I don't care about the next. I just want to disappear and turn to ash. Oh, wow. Oh, Rika, please don't say that. Rika, Rika. Anya's voice gradually fades away. I slowly lost my senses as I lay down on the kitchen floor and let myself sink into the darkness. And that's the chapter. What just an abrupt gotta, twist of events. Just gotta live, guys. Just gotta live. Ah. Oh. I, I genuinely, I had become so used to things just going right that I was like, yeah, this is happening, this is happening, the oh, yeah! Yeah. I was wondering when I, when you were like, why would we share that scene with mommy? That's weird. What's yeah, like, I before? genuinely had become so caught up in it that I just had, like, uh, has that ever happened to you before in this story? Not in this show, no. No, I didn't think so. I'm glad. I'm glad I got to see it for once in my life. Yeah. Once in my entire life, seeing you not like, you know, play acting like, oh my god, but just like, I don't know what's what could go wrong. Like you were so innocent at the end of last chapter. I just, really was. Which was great. I'm totally down I for that. I enjoyed it thoroughly. You, we've seen you we've seen a new side of Jacrona today. And, and that's why I'm we're never publishing it. that video. Treasure it, treasure it. Don't time. you cut that! Don't you cut 